So we've had some new art materials delivered, very exciting. Let's uh, open up and see what we've got. So, invoice, that's a freebie. Not sure what I'll use that for. Frisbee maybe. Hang on, let's have that back. That's a good point to make actually while we're here, that uh, very kind of them to send me this, but for the style of painting I do with the washes and very wet into wet, totally not suitable that you need, as I showed on another video, a palette that's got some big whales in it, so you can really get the plenty of uh, mixes in there. Um, not sure, maybe just for little painting little flowers or something maybe. Obviously people do use them, but not for what we're doing. So, paints. Uh, getting low on cobalt blue. So uh, thank you patrons for uh, your help this month that uh, keeps me painting. Um, so a couple of those, always good to have plenty of paint in stock. And three packs of paper, so that should be 15 sheets. It's Saunders and Waterford knot, that I think in France they call it fine grain. But it's obviously it's all, I think, made in the UK. Uh, well, it is made in the UK in Somerset. So uh, that will uh, keep us busy for a while. And um, this is what I'm actually interested in. Some uh, new paint brushes, or a new paint brush. It's been well packaged, which is nice. So, this is a, a Skoda Ultima, that's a size eight. Um, but the idea is it's gonna be good for hopefully doing branches on trees and things. So I've got a very similar brush, which is a little bit longer than this. Um, but I can't remember where I bought it and I can't find it. So we'll give that a go in this demo that uh, we'll find some trees or something to paint. Um, so let's give it a whirl. So I've sketched out my scene very loosely and I'm using this um, charcoal drawing that I did on my Patreon page. Um, so check that out if you want to see my thought process for that. So I'm going to use just burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. So the idea is just to simplify this process. But, um, so I've got a charcoal drawing, so I've worked out the scene. And I'm just using two colours, so I'm not complicating it with lots of options with colours. So I'm going to be thinking about this tonally. So it probably will be a, a dark, moody scene again. I've been doing a few of those recently. I shall have to do a sunny scene soon. So I want a nice bit of light in this water. Let's put some of this blue in the sky. So it's going to be grey. This is um, when I mix the uh, blue and the orange, we'll say, because burnt sienna is just orange really, which is on the opposite end of the colour wheel to blue, which is why we get grey. But um, that's quite nice, so we'll leave that. But uh, you can get some very beautiful paintings painted in neutrals. So by creating some long horizontals, it will give us the illusion of space. And let's put some of these trees in. This is just a suggestion because the uh, this is just the backdrop, so we don't need much in the way of detail. And painting them wet into wet, they'll become soft anyway. I'm just using a, a round sable. Let's put a, a little bit of that burnt sienna in there. Go slightly darker for the the trunks of the trees. So these will be receiving less light. Just adds a nice bit of interest in the distance. Let's see, it 
needs to look realistic. So and he's got some more branches here to hold these trees up. Again, I don't need to be getting down with detail. While this is still damp, let's throw in a few edges. And go quite dark with this tree here. Quite nice where it curves around here, we think. Made that on my drawing, I think. Maybe have a few sky holes. So I need to go to a bigger brush. So thicker paint. is quite nice with these sky holes so let's put a few branches through there and by doing it wet into wet they're there but they're not they'll just kind of soften to, to nothing let's soften this Let's try some dry brush. So thick paint, not a lot of water. And then I'm going to just drag it across the surface, which is dry now. So let's give it a go. And your brush needs to be kind of flat to the surface. This works quite well. And by having a bit of dry brush next to this white paper, that will give us extra sparkle. It just adds a texture into the the foreground or into the middle ground without having to actually paint any, which is nice. Fine. And we can work on this area down here. So back to a bigger brush. So we can be slightly warmer here now because this is in the foreground. Connect this up to the shape. Always looking for the connection. And a bit of clean water just to soften that. spray just to give myself a bit more time so mix the blue and the brown together give myself a nice dark so let's pretend there's some rocks and things here maybe bring that to perfect that edge and it's going to be darker here let's give that a spray work on this other side here so I'm using very thick paint here so paint straight from the tube but it still needs to be water added to it you're not oil painting Just put 
some clean water there. Warm up this base a little bit. Concentrate the light on here then. That's a way of connecting the foreground here. Back to a bigger brush. Again, plenty of warmth here. Nice and dark. More blue maybe. To cool this area down. It's a little bit too blue. Let it mix on the paper. Just lift a little bit of that out. Let's put some of that warmth across here. I need to keep these area of areas of light. Use the side of the brush to suggest bits of detail, but it doesn't need a much detail really. Right, let's try out this new brush, which is why we're here doing this. So we want some branches to come across here. So we've got the white of the paper there, so we'll have a nice dark branch coming across there. So it needs to be nicely loaded up, fairly thick, but it needs to flow. So I think if I get very light towards the end, it should give me a very fine point. So that's working well. And well done a Skoda, another good brush. And maybe let's scratch with my finger a couple of lighter branches going across here. Just continue. There. Got a bit of foliage in there, so again, it's a good brush to do the whole job. I'll put um, the name of this brush on the screen. So I've got mine in France, but I'm sure you'd better buy anywhere that sells the Skoda brushes. And then this branch can just come across the water there. That gives us a nice reflection there of this broken branch. So the scene's got harmony because of the colours, but uh, it's just painted in uh, blues and browns. Can we paint birds with this brush? There we go. So let's make a real dark, almost black. Let's put that down here. Nice crisp edge. Let's give it a little spray over this side. A few bigger droplets. A bit of dry brush. Describe the uh, the curve. And, uh, it'd be a good idea to let this dry and see what we've got. So we managed to stay fairly close to the reference picture, or the, the reference drawing, shall I say. But, um, we've got the uh, the lead in with the, the water here, which is 
the centre of focus that your eyes kind of drawn to here because of the light against the dark. Um, so hopefully your eye travels this way. We've got the uh, the bands of light across the, the distance here, which takes us up to this tree where there's again this interest here with the, the light coming through the trees. Um, it kind of looks like the sun perhaps is here. Uh, that kind of just painted itself, so that was nice. And then we uh, come back down to these trees here and these branches direct us all back down to the, uh, the focal point. So color wise, it's um, got harmony that um, it's always a, a good way, if, certainly if you're a beginner, to just paint with two colors. You know, the ultramarine blue and burnt sienna are two great colors that work well together. Um, but there's lots of other combinations, just try them. So hopefully you like this, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.